Ito na. Ito mm-hmm. na. May ano kaharap ano? tayong ano, may kaharap <laughs> tayong friend. Besh! Kuha ka na ng policy sa akin, VUL. Sige na, Besh. So, hi everyone! Hello, Hello. everyone! Uh, so, welcome to another week no? and a new episode here at Wealth RT. So, yun, kasama ko ulit si Marion. Hi, Marion! Hello, everyone! Hello, Adriel! Kamusta kayong uh-huh. lahat dyan? Okay naman. Kamusta dyan sa ano, NCR? Stuck pa rin ako sa CDO. <laughs> yun lang. O, sana makapunta ka na ng NCR. Ah, dito naman, uh, balik traffic! Traffic balik na. Balik traffic, traffic. Oo, oo. Hindi new normal. Back to normal ang traffic. <laughs> Oo nga eh. Patayin dito. Bumabalik na yun. So, yun. So, for this week, we have a ano, special topic. So, we will discuss yung mga questions to ask to your financial advisor, insurance advisor kapag mag-meet kayo. Or for those meeting, no, their insurance advisor for the first time. So, we will ano, discuss yung mga questions to ask or possible questions to ask them. But before we begin, you know, for our new viewers here, please subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss a thing. And of course, ayun, you know, subscribe down below. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. Ayan. So, sige, let's begin. So, kwento hmm. natin no, yung experience siguro natin when we first met our insurance advisor. So, <laughs> ano yung experience mo? Or, ako ba mauna? <laughs> Bago ka magkwento. Ito okay. muna, uh-huh. ang kasabihan nila, ang true test of friendship ay hindi yung mga challenges, problema. Oh. Ang true test of friendship daw ay kapag uh-huh. inanukan ka ng insurance ng friend mo. Ay, ay iba yan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bakit, bakit, bakit ganun? First time ko yan marinig eh. <laughs> uh-huh. Yun yun, kasi pag inanukan ka ng insurance, malalaman mo kung talagang true friend siya. O may AFO mm. or friendship over. <laughs> ah, yung ano, magtataka ka na lang na ano, na wal, minus one na yung friends list mo sa FB. <laughs> Oo, oh, no? Nawala bigla, tapos pag message mo, seen. <laughs> ah, normal yan. Normal yan sa insurance industry. Mm, totoo yun. True test of friendship nga, di ba? Tapos it takes a while bago, ano, pa who you? Ganun. Ah, <laughs> uh. Tapos ano na, bigla lang kayo nagkita one day. Tapos nalaman mo na ano, unfriend na pala sa FB. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Nako. Do anyway, I know you? Ganun. Oh, do I know you? Yung pala ginaghost ka na pala. Oo. Oh, oh. Kaya it's a challenge din, no? Lalo na sa mga gustong magkaroon ng career as insurance agent. And then para din sa mga gustong mag-take ng insurance, I think, Uh, marami tayong nag inquire no? Paano ba yung right, ta- right technique or right strategy sa pagkuha ng insurance? Pagkukwentuhan natin yan, no, Adriel? Mm-mm. But maybe for another video, but for to this week, we'll just discuss yung initial ano muna, yung initial questions to ask because we've been getting, yun nga, tama ka, a lot of inquiries regarding life insurance and maybe it's time, no? that, of course, a lot of subscribers din has been asking for this video. So, I guess it's already time for us to discuss kung ano yung mga questions to ask uh, if they want to meet a insurance agent or first time nila to meet. So, I guess to start, mm-hmm. no, um, the first question to ask is, how long have you been in the insurance industry? Or how long have you been working already in, as an insurance agent? Um, Bakit naman, a, Adriel? Uh, yeah, this is a parang general question muna siya. Just to mm-hmm. see yung experience ng insurance advisor, um, how long, di ba, how long has he been working? Is it one year, three years, five years? Because the tenured advisor would be more experienced than the rookie advisors. But there are also naman rookie advisors na magagaling or mga, alam mo yun, medyo gifted sa sales or may prior knowledge na but they decided to join the insurance industry. Kaya medyo important siya. But yung next question is more important, which is, um, what kind of clients do you have? 
or what clients are you handling right now? Um, these two no. questions, no, yung how long have you been and what type of clients you have are very important because it shows yung experience ng advisor and of course the type of advisor he or she is. Mm, oh, eh pagdating naman sa ano sa mga newbie, yan yung mga nagsisimula parang na ng career, gusto ko maging insurance agent for example. Um, let's say I'm only with this insurance company for two, three months. Ano naman ang kanilang pwedeng talk para maka and, uh, magkaroon ng clients or makonvince yung clients nila? Mm, just show them no, for newbie advisors out there. I think the best way to approach clients is just to be authentic and just to show that uh, even if you're new, you are ready to handle their concerns as in insurance advisor as a level, let's say, five years, two years, three years. Hindi ka dapat, alam mo yung doubtful. Kaya, um, kailangan you have to show some confidence then to your client that you can handle his or her case. Because if the client knows or sees that medyo kabado ka or medyo doubtful ka sa ginagawa mo, then you might ano, lose out clients to other more confident rookies or to more ano naman, seasoned advisors already in the field. Mm-hmm. Sa, yun, tama ka nun, no? Confidence. Eh, ma-share ko lang din, no? Yung isang mga, mga, yung mga narinig kong kwento kasi is, merong friend tayo, let's say, na insurance mm-hmm. agent, nagsisimula pa lang, and then ito mm-hmm. na. So, dahil friend mo naman, di naman masyadong magpapakilala pa, and then, mag offer na agad siya ng policy, pare. Policy agad na nandun na yung insurance coverage, nandun na yung premium. So, ikaw, yes or no ka na lang. Diba? Yeah. Yan ang ganun ang narinig kong uh, stories eh. Medyo oh. awkward situation to be. <laughs> diba? Nakahain na. Uh-huh. Yes or no na lang. Pero tama ba yun? Tama ba yung ganung style ng mga baguhan na insurance agent? Or dahil friend kita, Uh, wag mo na nang usap-usap. Ito yung insurance policy, VUL. Adriel, mm. VUL ang para sa'yo. Alam mo kasi may insurance to, may investment component pa. Tawa na lang dahil bumalik naman si Bull. <laughs> si Bull na naman. But ano, um, regarding that, no, um, normally insurance, new insurance advisors start out that way. But there are also a lot of insurance agents or insurance advisors that continues to present in a PowerPoint. Um, usually, mga ganon we avoid um, because di sila masyado nag-needs analysis and di sila masyado um, nag-uusap with the client or rapport building. And yung mga tao na nagbibigay ng proposal agad tapos nagpre-present, usually in-avoid din namin because yung insurance advisor dapat, yung typical or yung ideal insurance advisor should be able to get to know you better, get to know your insurance needs better, hindi dapat policy agad pinapakita. And hindi lang dapat, alam mo yun, PowerPoint presentation lahat. Tapos hindi man lang tinanong kung ano ba yung needs mo ngayon. Which is actually the next question to ask your insurance advisor. Uh, what investment or insurance should I need right now? Um, that's the third question to ask. So, that question actually probes the insurance agent or the insurance advisor if ginawa ba niya yung needs analysis correctly or hindi. Because if ginawa niya correctly, then mas madali isagot yung tanong na yun. If not, mm-hmm. then most likely magpa-PowerPoint presentation siya ulit. Tapos ibabalik yung question sa iyo. Which is, of course, hindi yun, alam mo yun, yung ideal situation to be in. Because ikaw nga yung hindi alam and you're assuming that this insurance advisor would know Pero binalik lang din yung tanong sa'yo. So, parang naglo-loop yung question. Paikot-ikot so, lang. Oh, paikot-ikot <laughs> lang yung tanong. Kaya medyo mahirap yung mga ganun na insurance agents. no So, yun. Tama yung sabi mo na ano needs analysis. Um, ito rin, no, para sa mga first-timers na inilapitan kayo or naghahanap kayo ng insurance provider, kailangan talaga mag-spend time para sa pagpili at pagkuha ng insurance policy. Uh, meron kasing mga tao or insurance agents, no? Uh, I think tatanungin lang sa client, 
magkano ba budget mo? Magkano ba mm. kaya mong itabi per month? At mm. tapos sasagot naman ako, ah, kaya ko magtabi 1,500, 2,000. Oh, sige, hanapan na kita ng product na mag-fit dyan sa 1,500 or 2,000 per month mo. And that's it. Yun na yung policy. Tama ba yun, Adriel? Um, that's all right because normally with needs analysis, we take into consideration the budget. But we, for our case, kasi as financial planners, we look at the budget for insurance. And at the same time, we look at the overall budget for other investments. No? So we really have to be very sensitive to the client when it regards to needs. Um, it's all right, maybe as a start, to ask kung ano yung budget. But eventually, you have to probe deeper. Um, okay. because budget is not enough because mommy at one to let's say 2k to 3k yung budget mo or 36,000 a year for insurance mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but yung insurance needs mo naman masyadong malaki so yun pa lang kailangan natin tingnan kung sapat ba yung budget or we have to segment the insurance meaning targeted approach tayo because mm-hmm. well just a heads up because medyo advanced insurance planning na to when it comes to insurance planning kasi Um, when you know your total needs, tapos if you know your budget, do na tayo mag, alam mo yun, malalaman if, we were, if we're going to cover everything. Let's say the whole whole bag, parang blanket, are you going to cover the whole blanket? Or are we going to uh, segment it first? Let's say we target a certain portion first and then focus on it in another time by growing your income, etc. So mga ganun, we can discuss in another video siguro. Yung advanced insurance management or advanced insurance portfolio management. Yun. Hmm, napakarami pala, no? Na dapat palang i-consider. Hindi lang uh, yung insurance coverage, hindi lang yung premium, marami pa pala. And yun ang may bibigay ng mga financial planners, no? Um, kung gusto nilang i-stud, ma-assess natin yung kanilang insurance policies. Yeah. And of hmm. course, no? Another... Well, another possible question to ask is what uh, investment or investment books or articles have you read you know, in the past six months? Because this would, because typically naman yung insurance agent or advisor would push the buying QL, which is of course yung life insurance and investment portion. So just to probe a bit further, no? Um, His, his or her investment knowledge, you can ask this question. Because if hindi siya nagbabasa, then most likely hindi niya alam yung binibenta niya. So medyo mahirap din yun. And it would make yung insurance and investment a bit more doubtful. Because if the agent no, has not been reading any insurance, I'm sorry, in any investment articles no, in the past few months or let's say in the past six months or wala man lang wala man lang isang book about investment, uh, medyo magdududa ka na sa kanya, then you can find other agents that can, alam mo yun, fit your needs. Para lang yan, nag, alam mo yun, nag pumupunta ka sa doctor, where mm-hmm. nag-check up ka, tinatanong mm-hmm. ka kung gusto ka, ano yung sakit mo, tapos tinecheck kung ano yung symptomas mo. So, ganun mm-hmm. lang din sa financial needs analysis or when meeting a insurance agent or a financial advisor. Kailangan tinatanong yung cash flow mo, yung income mo, expenses mo, ano yung goals mo, etc. Because um, doon mo makikita kung, kung saan ka na right now financially. And dapat ginaguide ka rin ng financial advisor where you want to be 5 years, 2 years, 10 years from now. Mm-hmm. Oo, oh, eh, paano naman ano? Kasi ito na. Ito mm-hmm. na. May ano kaharap tayong ano, may kaharap <laughs> tayong friend. Besh, kuha ka na lang policy sa akin, VUL. Sige na, Besh. Oh, close Kala na tayo ko. eh. <laughs> Kala ko kakanta ka na dahil ano, heto na, heto na, heto na yun sa broken egg. Heto <laughs> na, heto na siya, oh. mag-offer na siya. Oo. Oh. Ito, ito fair na kita, VUL. Ito ang pinakasikat na product. Pero dahil narinig mo si Marion, si Adriel, si Sir Renzi, mm. si Sir Fitz, mm. gusto mo mo na mag-hold back. Gusto mo mo ng pag-asipan. Yeah. Ano mm. naman ang magandang way? Kasi challenge din to ha, totoo to. 
pag friend mo yung kausap mo, inaalo kang ka na isang product, and somehow you, you feel na okay naman magkaroon ng insurance, pero parang gusto ko pa mag-check ng iba, eh, para kung ano talaga yung mas fit sa akin, ano talaga yung mas bagay sa budget. Paano mm-hmm. kaya ano? Ano kaya yung mabibigay nating tip on how to decline yung mga ganyang offers? Especially millennials, millennial friends din natin nag-aalok ng insurance policy. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, we advise our clients to get from their friends first, no? But yung caveat dito is, even if you get from your friends, hindi kasi guaranteed na, alam mo yun, they would know your needs better, they would do financial needs analysis. So, I guess to answer that question, no? Which is actually yung fifth <laughs> tanong na kailangan nilang itanong sa agent is, what product, what other products does this insurance company have besides the product you are offering? Um, this would test the knowledge of the insurance agent regarding yung product, alam mo yun, yung in-offer na products ng insurance company because hindi, alam naman natin na hindi lang naman VUL yung in-offer ng insurance company. Hindi, VUL lang. Kaya pang ganun. VUL lang. Meron po tayong three products na in-offer sa inyo. One is VUL, two is VUL, VUL. three is VUL. Uh, kung ganun yung insurance agent, you can find other insurance agents na. <laughs> kung ganun. Um, term insurance? Wala tayong term insurance, sir. VUL lang. Actually, may investment pa to. Ito na lang. <laughs> Patay tayo dyan. But, yeah, usually when it comes to, alam mo, meeting the insurance agent, you can ask these five questions, but the tips in declining is kapag nadududa ka na ito lang yung product, you can cordially tell the insurance agent na um, thank you for the time to discuss this policy, this product, but I want to know other products from other insurance agents then. So, give me three to five days, I'll just get back to you regarding this. Or at least you give time for yourself to think about the product, then you can scout then, um, can see other offers then from other agents, and then you can choose which one best fits your needs. Oh, at doon naman sa insurance agent, kapag tinanong tayo mm-hmm. ng ating friend, no, uh, medyo hesitant pa siya kasi parang gusto pa niyang malaman yung ibang products natin, I think it's also necessary na talagang i-share natin ano pa yung mga financial products ng ating insurance company. And also, pag hindi naman natin kabisado lahat pa, kasi nagsisimula pa lang tayo, I think there's no harm in saying dun sa friend natin, uh, Besh, bro, uh, give me one day, I'll call you tomorrow, I'll tell you more about our whole life insurance or term insurance para makapili ka talaga ng bagay para sa'yo. Yeah. Um, it's really important to do insurance counting. Like what we said before in our previous videos sa insurance. So, please check our insurance playlist. No? Um, kailangan, hindi ka naman bibili insurance sa first product you see. So, para lang yan nag-grocery, di ba? So, you check then other companies, other products, other brands, and then you compare them based on your budget, based on your needs, and then but they carry in, ganun din when meeting other insurance agents, usually they have their own personalities then. So if you feel like yung personality nito at yung expertise would fit on your, alam mo yun, on your style then, on your personality then, pwede sa kanya. But yung bottom line talaga is, kailangan maintindihan niya yung needs mo and magawa yung financial needs analysis because that is really, really important. And of course, sabi nga natin, we're not working for our insurance. It's purchasing a life insurance should not make us go hungry. Um, it should be something that would give us peace of mind at the end of the day. Um, if it causes you financial stress, then number one, you shouldn't be in that product in the first place. Um, you shouldn't be buying that product. Oh, tapos ano, no? Ah, uh, nga pala, meron tayong mga latest na mga nag-send ng email sa Wealth Archie. Ah, uh, pa, ano ba yung ano, difference ng life insurance at health insurance, maliban sa spelling? Ah, uh, for that, I think, in another video na. It was a topic on its own. No. Uh, but just to uh, give a brief, ano, 
uh, life insurance covers, of course, burial costs. And then for health insurance, it's a lump sum payment to pay for critical illness. But we'll discuss more no, in a different video. Ayun. Uh, so, mm -hmm. we have ano, mga last questions to ask. No? If you're going uh, to meet an insurance agent, no? ano yung mga questions you have in mind? Mm, or sapat na ba yung lima? <laughs> mm, ay, yung ano, kailangan siguro ano, ma malinaw mm. yung pabayaran mong premium tsaka yung arrangement mo kung quarterly, monthly, semi-annual, or annual mo babayaran. I know someone, someone from the side of my wife's family, no? He got an insurance policy, pero um, suddenly, mm. no? Na, uh, Nag-stop siya sa work niya. And then, hindi na niya na tuloy yung pagbabayad sa kanyang premiums. Mm -hmm. And I think sa mga insurance agents then remember, you, I, we have what you call yung attrition rate. Diba? Mm -hmm. yung, yung, nagkakaroon ka nga ng clients, mabilis ka magkaroon yeah. ng clients, pero di rin sila nagtatagal. Ayan, so, yes. titingnan din natin yan sa mga gusto mag-start ng insurance agent career, di ba, Adriel? Yeah, yung tatawag namin dyan, persistency. Um, yeah, tama si Marion. Maybe you can also ask this question. Maybe this is our sixth and last, no? Because we've been talking for a while. Uh, what are the payment terms of the product you are offering? Because that would know if this product would fit for you at sapat ba to sa budget mo. Because different products, no, would have different payment terms, different premiums, and of course, different benefits that offers. I think, no, that's it for today. Um, any final uh -huh. thoughts regarding the topic? Final thoughts regarding sa pagpili ng insurance, lalo na kapag friend natin yung nag offer mm -hmm. ng policy, take time. Take time to really study, to really talk to your friend. Hindi dahil friend mo siya ay uh, basta ka nalang kukuha ng policy. And mm -hmm. sa mga nag, uh, nagbebenta naman or nag alok ng insurance policy, lalo na sa mga friends nila, there's more to giving an insurance policy than friendship. Remember that uh, having an insurance policy also requires a commitment dun sa insured to pay the premiums. And um, of course, alam naman natin kapag hindi nakabayad ng premiums yung insured, eh, mafo-forfeit yung policy. So titingnan talaga natin lahat. Tama si Adriel, yung needs analysis, yung capacity to pay ng tao, talagang tinitingnan, pinag-uusapan, nagtatanong, at sinasagot ng insurance agent ang mga yon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just a final ano no, word to our audience out there. When meeting this insurance agent for the first time, have a conversation. Hindi lang dapat siya nagpre-present, present, present all day long. Tapos ikaw naman, di ka nagsasalita sa harap. Or masarap, masarap ang coffee. <laughs> sa presentation. Oh, okay, diba? Sa coffee shop, yung, ano, meeting place. Oo. Because at the end of the day, this is your insurance product. I sorry, this is your insurance policy. This should help you. This should give you peace of mind. Hindi ito dapat nagiging alam mo yun, pang commission lang ng agent because that would put you in a bad situation five, ten years from now. Yun. That's true. That's true. Uh, so I guess that's it now for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this topic and enjoyed this video. And of course, our very casual kwentuhan. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and hit that subscribe button below. And of course, if you really like this video, please give us a thumbs up and smash that notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. And I'm Adrian. You won't Simario, miss a thing. Yes, you won't miss a thing if you hit that. Uh, I don't want to close my eyes. Then it's okay. <laughs> So I guess that's it. So goodbye everyone. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye -bye. See you. Ingat.